Hey guys, Jared here, and welcome to a new series that I'm starting in which we just take a look at some cool frameworks around the internet that people have created that make life in your programming a lot easier, as well as make your app just that much better. Definitely let me know what you think about the series, and also if you have any frameworks to recommend, be sure to leave them down in the comment section down below, and I'll check them out. But either way, today we're going to be taking a look at PCL Blur Effect Alert. So essentially what this is, it makes your alerts just look a little bit better. So what you can do is add some blur to the background when the alert comes up, you can change the color that goes on as it's coming up, stuff like that. Now, as you can see, we click on this button, we have the font size and everything has changed to whatever you want, something else, and the whole look is just completely different. And of course, if you wanna check it out on GitHub, it'll be in the description down below, so you can check it out yourself. But let's just go ahead and start implementing this into our project. So I'm gonna go over here to Xcode and create a new Xcode project. This is gonna be a single view application. Go ahead, click next. For your product name, I'm just gonna go ahead and call this my alert view. Make sure your language is Swift and your devices are universal. Then go ahead, click next and create. So with this, we wanna go ahead and start implementing our PCL alert view. So let's just close out of that Xcode program. And then now we wanna go over here to terminal. And this is where we're gonna start implementing that framework that's already there. So the way that we implement this is we're using CocoaPods. So if you don't know what CocoaPods is, just head over to CocoaPods.org and follow the instructions there to get started. But it's essentially an easy way to import these frameworks from GitHub into your project, and it makes your life a whole lot easier. So let's just go ahead and continue on. So I'm gonna say LS CD desktop to go all the way to my alert view. LS to see where I am and CD to move on to the project file that I want to go on to. So CD and I'm going to go over to the alert view. Then once you get into the point that it has your alert view .xcode project, this is where you're going to go in and say pod in it. And then that's going to go ahead and add a certain file called the pod file into your project. Then you're just going to go ahead and click double click on that pod file. And then now down here for pods for alert view, you're just going to go ahead and delete that. And then now we're going to go ahead and import that pod file from GitHub. That is the PCL alert view. So down here, you can see that install Cocoa Pods. We're just going to go ahead and say pod PCL blur effect alert, copy that. And then we're going to go back over here to our pod file, go ahead and paste that in there, then hit command S to save that pod file, close out of it. Then head over here to terminal again and just say pod install. And there you have it. Now we have PCL blur effect alert inside of our project. Now we can go ahead and click on that alert view.xc workspace as your workspace is now what you're going to be using instead of your Xcode project. Now let's go ahead and say later. Um, this is already done in Swift 3, so we don't need to worry about convert to the latest Swift syntax. So we're going to say later for that. And then now we want to go ahead and click on our pods Xcode project here, then click on the target that is the PCL blur effect alert target, then head over here to your build settings. And what we're going to do is go ahead and change this where it says use legacy Swift language version, you're just going to go ahead and set that equal to no, because again, this is done in Swift 3. So we should be good to go. Now, if we were to build and run this just to make sure that everything works, let's check it out. And there you have it, it ran perfectly. So now we can start implementing this into our project. So the way that we do this is I'm gonna go up here to my alert view, go here, go to my main.storyboard, and this is where we're gonna go ahead and implement this into our view. So inside of our view controller here, really all we need is some way to call to action an alert of some sort. So really this could be whenever you're running your game and you need a certain alert to pop up, then you could use that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and add a simple button. And this button is going to call a certain alert. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this button here, move it to the middle, and now we're gonna go ahead and open up our assistant editor. And now I'm gonna connect up this button over here, and then we're gonna give this an action. So now I'm gonna go ahead and call this action my call alert. So now it's gonna bring up an alert of some sort. Now, what alert is it going to bring up? Now this is using the PCL blur effect alert. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up here to my import function and I'm gonna say import my PCL blur effect alert. Now we can go down here and I'm gonna say let my alert, I'm gonna set this equal to PCL blur effect alert dot. And with this, you can choose a few different options. The main two options are alert action and controller. We're going to look into both of these alerts, but let's go ahead and hit controller for the time being. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one that says title, message, effect, and style. So I'm going to go ahead and with the title, put in whatever you want. Then for your message, I'm going to say something else. 
For this blur effect, you can set this equal to nil so that we don't have any blur effect going on. But I'm wanting to do is actually have a nice little blur going on. So I'm going to go ahead and say UI blur effect. Then we say open parentheses, and then we can put in the style colon, and then inside of here we can put in whatever style we want. So I'm going to go ahead and put in dot, and you can put dark, extra light, light, prominent, or regular. I'm going to go ahead and put dark, and we can see the difference between dark and extra light or light. Now with your style here, this is going to be either an action sheet, an alert, or an alert vertical. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the normal alert in this instance. And of course, we'll check out the differences between that as well. Now with this alert, uh, you could be good to go and just say alert dot show and then that'll show that alert and let's actually go ahead and do that and see what's up all right so here's our button in the middle now let's go ahead and click that and it says whatever you want and it has that blur effect in the background and it just looks nice and then you have something else as well now of course we don't have any buttons to get out of that so we need to go ahead and add a button to that as well so i'm going to go ahead and say let my alert btn equal and I'm going to go ahead and set this equal to my PCL blur effect alert dot and then this is going to be my alert action then we say open parentheses and then we have title style and a handler so with this title right here I'm just going to go ahead and put in cancel and then for our style here I'm just going to go ahead and say dot cancel and then our handler, we're just gonna set this equal to nil. Now, of course, if you are handling something differently there, in this case, we're just canceling it, so we're good to go. And then also in order to get this alert button onto our, our, our alert, I'm gonna go ahead and say alert.addAction, and then we're gonna go ahead and add that alert action. So alert BTN, and boom, we're good to go. Now let's go ahead and show uh, this. So here we are, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that button. There you have it, we have whatever you want, something else, and then cancel. So now you have that cancel button that just cancels that alert. Now also with this alert view that we just created, there's so much more customization that you can do. So we're gonna go ahead and say alert.configure. And inside of this configure, you can say you can get thin, margin, button height, corner radius, alert view width, background color, text field height, text field border. I don't need to say all of this. <laughs> the main two that I'm going to be going over is the corner radius as well as the background color. So I'm going to go ahead and say uh, the corner radius will be equal to the CG float value of 30. So what that is changing is the corner radius of this, and you'll be able to see that. Then we also want to go down here and say alert.configure, and this one's going to be the overlay background color. And what this is going to do is when you click this, you see that it's kind of a gray color back here. It's going to change that color. I'm just going to go ahead and put in my UI color, open parentheses, and then inside of here, we're going to grab this uh, red, green, blue, and then we have alpha. So with these RGB, I'm going to go ahead and set this equal to red at zero, green at 60, and then blue at zero. And then for our alpha, I'm going to set this equal to 0.3 because uh, we just want a slight overlay to be going on on the background. And then just close off those parentheses. And now let's build and run this and see where we're at. And there we have it. Let's click on this button and boom, we have a nice green color going on in the background as our back. And then also, as you can see that we have the corner radius here completely changed. Now, another thing that you can change is with this alert that we created, we have an, a, a controller coming up. But as you can see, it's just this normal alert. What I want is to have an alert coming up from the bottom. So the way that we do this is we go over here to our style inside of our uh, alert right here, and then we can go ahead and change that over to whatever we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to an action sheet, and let's see how that looks. And now when we click on this button, as you can see, this pops up like that. And also, of course, that corner radius looks terrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that back to, let's say 10. And I think that'll look better. So let's check that out. And now when we click on this button, you can see that it pops up from the bottom. That corner radius definitely looks a little bit better, but we have that cancel alert right there and it works perfectly. Then also one last thing that I wanted to show you is that you can change the font and the color of this uh, title that's coming on as well as the message. So we're gonna go ahead and say alert.configure and you'll see that we have title font and title color. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that title font and I'm gonna say UI font dot and then I'm gonna set this equal to the system font. And then we're just gonna get the system font of size and you can change the font size to whatever you want. So I'm gonna set that to 30 and then I'm gonna change the title color to a UI color dot and then let's go ahead and make this blue. It's a terrible color scheme, but 
it's working. <laughs> and then lastly, we would just want to say alert.configure and then I uh, just want to change the message font and message color. And we're pretty much going to do the exact same thing, just changing the color to something different. So I changed the message color to white. Now let's go ahead and build and run this and let's see what we have. Now, as you can see, we click on this button. We have the font size and everything has changed to whatever you want, something else. And the whole look is just completely different. Now, also one thing that I was going to go over is with the background here, I picked dark as the background, but let's go ahead and see what else we can choose. So we have style dot, and then I'm going to go ahead and click extra light. We'll see how that looks. Honestly, this is just a lot of me having fun with it. So have fun with it yourself and try to get some cool configurations going on. Also, if you do use this, send a picture to me. But let's go ahead and click on this button and that is what extra light looks like. Anyway, you can pretty much just change this thing to your heart's content to fit whatever, whatever application style you want. Anyway, there you guys have it. That is the first installment of just checking out cool frameworks. Let me know what you thought of it. Anyway, have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Let's go check out the cool frameworks today.